feel about this new shirt to go chainsaw in? I don't know. I haven't. It's like, I think it. I think I look good. I think I won't lose you out there. Okay, lunch is over, so I'm going to get out all the stuff to work on the outhouse. And Ryan is in the shirt that you probably got a preview of, and he's off to go. There's a tree that got buggered up last time, so he needs to get it so it's not just tilting. So he's going to get that to fall. And then he said he might cut down more trees because cutting down trees is like his hobby. And I am going to see if the kids will help me a little bit with the outhouse. I'm actually going to just make them do it. So that's where we're at. Okay, we're cleaning up. The kids helped a lot on the outhouse. Ryan got his wood chipper working again and got, he said, two trees that were all buggered up. He got those down and he got the one other tree chainsaw, I believe. So the outhouse was giving me major issues. So I was definitely doing some freedom construction. Um, and that just means where you just go a little off the pattern. So anyway, but it looks like it's gonna all be okay. It's like I was working with two patterns. I don't even know. I don't even know. But we're done. We're cleaning up. I'm like cleanup crew. And the kids are doing a ton of stuff. And then Ryan's back there yelling at kids. All right. See you tomorrow. Good morning. We're up pretty early for us at the land. I'm actually naturally a pretty early riser back at our other house, but here it's harder to get up and get going. Anyway, we're up early. We're gonna we're gonna get ready to go to the hardware store, which is a pain here because it's like what an hour drive. So we'll we'll drive for it's really like a 30 minute drive, but it all seems to take an hour. So like an hour there, and then we got to get all the stuff hour back so we're getting the stuff here i'm going to turn so they can see the outhouse getting the stuff to finish the outhouse we were kind of like it's nice when we come up here to get something completely done so you feel accomplished and we're just not gonna be able to get the tile done today because 
it's supposed to sit with the glue for 24 to 48 hours before we grout before we grout so i don't even know if we're going to get to grout Maybe. but we'll see but anyway we're going to go get all the stuff we need for the outhouse so we're going to go check out how much siding we have just laying around from scraps when we did our shed and see what we need to buy and we're actually going to put a clear clear roof on it which i'm pretty excited about it's going to be a pretty fancy outhouse but it should be done today hopefully so and both of us have to do a little bit of our real work and um and then we can get on our way so time to drink coffee make our list and get our kids out of bed so they can come along with us uh maybe that's why people go Videotaping it. So I'm going to show you some modifications that I made because our outhouse is not a typical outhouse where we have dug a hole in the ground. Ours is going to be a composting toilet. So we're going to have a bucket in there that we do our business in and then you put peat moss over it or sawdust or leaves or whatever scraps you can find and then you let it kind of do its thing in there in the bucket over time and then you can just dump it out and it's rich soil. So that's how ours is going to work. So let me show you what we're doing to the seat because I wanted something where I could access the bucket easily. It's my job to deal with all the composting in the bucket. So I was like, I want like a lift up seat. So let me show you how I'm doing that. Okay, so when you look in the original plans, it said to just have these two, one, two, and then you end up putting the plywood on there and the seat ends up going in the center there. So what I did was this modification here and on that is where we're gonna have a piece of plywood that's connected with a bracket and then we'll be able to just lift up, bloop, access the bucket and then lift it out, put in the next bucket. So I think it'll be a pretty cool system. Ryan's here and he's done working and that's great. So check this out. We just cut this cool design in this board and it's gonna be our rafters for the roof. And he had to use a jigsaw and I've never used one of those so I didn't wanna do that without him. I think I could have figured it out though. This is what I told him. Well, basically you just plug in the tool and you press the trigger and you kind of see what it does and then you use it and he's like yeah that's what you do so anyway we're gonna go fit this before we cut the other two to see if we did it right so we'll do that right now oh wait no the longer part should be sticking off the back no the longer part should be sticking off the front
And that's where the bucket will go. How do you feel on it? I feel like the plywood needs to be a little thicker. Yeah, so we'll have to like probably redo that part. Do you feel like you're going to fall in? Because that's people's number one fear. No. I'm going to write down all the measurements that we need for the seat. And I'm also going to write down all the measurements we need for the siding. So that way when Ryan is off of this call, we are ready to go. I tried to enlist the help of my little friends, my kids, but they both said, oh, we've got some other stuff to do. I don't know what it is. We'll find out. And my dog is busy hunting mice again she found some under a tarp i lifted the tarp and a mouse came out and went under her feet and she didn't catch it and she didn't even see it and then it ran back under the tarp and it was like oh my gosh so got a mouse problem we're dealing with up here so here we go are you gonna help me lindy i was thinking all right good because i need a helper to help me write down stuff okay here we go I told you once, I tell you twice the truth You are my sin, my effervescent blues My devil creeps the tears in my room But I know, I know, I know, you know it's not true through all the times you stay into his mouth Through all my ribs that crack and stumble out My line is not straight that I just cut. It goes a little bit like this. I think it's okay. I don't know. I don't do great yet at all these tools and using the circular saw is really hard on that so it's pretty good for an outhouse I think it's okay so how the hell we get so lonely now because I know I know I know you know it's not now I was gonna cut the two front pieces but we're using an older piece of siding and you may have seen I put it up there and it's really a, it's a warped piece, which should be fine because it's smaller once we get it up there. Um, but I don't feel confident in my sawing skills at all to cut that. And the kids are off playing, so I'm not going to holler at one of them to come hold it. Um, but I am going to do the last back piece. And I got to say, I'm pretty proud of myself because um, I didn't know how to use a circular saw in April is when I learned how to use it. So I'm pretty impressed that I'm doing all this and pretty impressed that I'm lifting these pieces of siding also and getting them up there because when we did our shed two years ago like putting the siding up was really scary because I could barely hold it up so anyway just gotten stronger and just feeling more confident in my building skills more confident in my body and like what it can do so anyway uh and I have to say I say this a lot and I don't think Ryan puts it in the videos a lot but if you're a woman and you're afraid of power tools they are really not that scary they actually make everything a lot easier because the tool is doing the work and not you. So, you know, get out there and try it if you're interested. It's me again. You may recognize me from other things that I've done, such as breaking the cheap plastic sawhorses. Oops. <laughs> anyway, I got it reset up on something else. It's gonna be too low to the ground. Luckily, we only have like three more big cuts to make, so Ryan's not gonna, well, actually Ryan's gonna be really excited, I think, because he was eyeballing some really nice sawhorses that wouldn't have broke, 
if I would have thrown the siding on it like I did. <laughs> like the strongest woman in the world. Um, but anyway, now we can go get those, I guess, right? Judas Priest, so please just strike me down Cause I know, I know, I know, you know it's not me I try to hold on, but I don't want to hold out Cause if it's too easy, there's a hell of a new sound We've got all the walls up except for two above where our door is going to go because we think we're actually going to turn those into either windows or put screens or do something so they're kind of open and now we're going to put on the roofing and we got the clear wavy roofing i know that's not what it's called but that's what we got so there will be light coming in so we're gonna put that up and then all we have to do is get some plywood spaced out and we still need a toilet seat so i don't think we'll get the hole cut for the toilet seat yet today and then we might make the door i don't know we'll see we'll see how we're feeling Can't you see me right now? So love me wrong, love me right now. Just love some. You just gotta love some. You just gotta love some. All right, guys, we are done for this trip. I worked really hard in the sun this morning, and I think it really wore me out. And Ryan did a lot of screwing up on the outhouse up at the top. At least it was screwing with you. <laughs> okay, so we're done. I feel a little too casual for this, like, oh... <laughs> But anyway, we're done for the day, and <laughs> we got and the outhouse trip, outhouse done. The siding is on, the roof is on, the door is not on yet. But we are talking about. We are so excited about this. We're gonna make the door half door, half, half window. window, like basically like the door to our yurt, um, but not as fancy. So you can have the view yeah, while you're doing your business. Because the view from the outhouse is it's great so beautiful so we're gonna make it it's optional there will be a blind so if you don't like that level of exposure people see in your head but i'm excited and there's gonna be we're adding like a screen we're gonna add either windows plexiglass or a screen up at the top instead of enclosing it all in siding and another screen because i messed up a cut 
but we don't need to talk about that. It's because no. I wanted added airflow. But the, I am really excited about the outhouse. Are you? I am. Okay. Yeah. It's been too long with our bucket system. It was a very productive trip, and we hadn't been up here in a long time, and there were just a lot of little chores we needed to do, which we still need to do today. So the rest of the day is going to be cleaning up, teeny tiny chores here and there, but hopefully some cornholes in our future with the kids and having some fun. And I got a new shirt, and I'm really liking them, but... <laughs> I'm not sure why I got orange. It's because they were the cheapest. They were the cheapest. I thought it was, I thought he got this orange shirt so if he's chainsawing and like got hurt, I could find him more easily. Mm -hmm. I could look for the bright orange spot, but then he just wore it the whole, whole time. They're really comfortable to work in. But he got some other colors. Yeah, they're on their way. I, this was proof of concept and now, now I'm sure. So tell us if you like his shirt. Tell us if oh, it's yeah. too bright. What color should I get next? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll end it here. Yeah, guys. This was a fun, fun trip. Here's a pro projecting tip. Always have kids involved in your projects. They make everything go so much smoother. You have extra hands to help with all those little things. Have as many as you can. It's the best. It's a pro tip.